So you found yourself in a corner installing some vinyl plank flooring and you have a funky, funky curved wall that you have to cut it to. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick trick you can use to go ahead and cut that plank to perfection and get it installed. Now, what's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com, bringing you all the tips, tricks, and strategies to be a mega success in the carpet and flooring industry. And if you want to know more about all that, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. We drop videos daily on all the strategies in the flooring industry. But let's get back to this vinyl plank flooring job we're stuck on right now. So when you run into a situation where you have just a crazy shaped wall and you know it's going to be way too much work trying to measure everything out and then template the board, here's all you do. You take a piece of cardboard that came with the vinyl plank flooring, the packaging that it came in. We're going to go ahead and lob a section off and we're just going to trace it out, creating a super fast template that we're going to use to trace on our plank and then go ahead and drop that in. Now it's not foolproof, it's not perfect, you'll have to doctor it up a little bit still, but this will get you almost to the finish line and shave tons of time off of your installation there. So we got our cardboard piece cut out, it fits real good in theory. Next we're gonna go ahead and set it on top of this vinyl plank, I just had to swap out the blade there, get a nice sharp blade in the knife, cause you wanna score it so good by taking a few swipes along that template there. So when you bend it back and forth, it pops off perfectly. Nothing breaks off the wrong way and we'll be down to go ahead and start shaving this so it'll fit. So we have our rough template done. We're gonna go ahead and wiggle that loose there. Just snap that off and then we're gonna go ahead and shave the edge on it. I like to do that because it makes it easier to cut once we set it into place and figure out how much more we have to take off of that edge. Like I said, the cardboard template gets us super close to the finish line, but rarely will it be perfect. So you just want to get as close as possible to shave some of those minutes off of your day there. So we got it lined in. We know it's a little snug there. We kind of eyeball up what needs to be trimmed. Go ahead and pop that back in. What needs to be trimmed? What needs to be, okay, right here, right here. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and take our knife and we're just going to score it on this one. I'm actually cutting it from the back a little bit. It has that thicker foam on it so I can get my knife to bite into that. And I can just kind of wiggle that back and forth, shave it off, and then drop it back into place to see if it's a win. Spoiler alert, it wasn't a win yet. I got to do it one more time, but that's okay. That's how this is played. Look how fast this is actually going in all reality. You'd be losing your mind trying to measure around that rounded wall and get it close enough that your baseboards are going to fit and hide all the raw edges. You want to get it nice and snug so when the base goes on, you're good to go. So we're just going to shave that off a little bit more there. See if we're good now at this point. I'm going to go ahead and line that up. Are we good? Maybe, maybe not. Do we need one more? I don't know. We're pushing it down. Is it victory? It ain't victory. Nope, nope. Get it out of there. All right. The purpose of this video is totally like, hey, man, I'm going to save you tons of time. In all reality, I am. I wish I was super cool and just swiped the knife against it one time. But in this one, we just doctor it up a few times. We drop it into place. Everything's looking good. Boom, boom. We lock it down. We're going to go ahead and take a pry bar. Just apply a little bit of pressure to get it to lock into place. We're just going to work around that plank there. Notch it in. Notch it in. And then one more over in the corner here. That's the tough part where all that baseboard is. We got to feed that pry bar back into there. Ply that back. And we're going to tap the plank with a hammer and biggity bam. We have a finished product. Just look at this here. Absolute awesomeness.